Most likely I'm going to end up at UNF. Uh, right now my major is political science. Uh, I want to specialize in American politics though. Joe Meyer seems like your typical 18-year-old high school student, a senior at Bishop Kinney, with plans to soon head off to college. But what you can't see is the condition he has to live with every single day, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So I was 14 when I was diagnosed. There really wasn't much, like any warning signs before I was diagnosed. Um, I, you know, I would have a little bit of shortness of breath and some chest pain when I was, you know, mowing the yard or, um, you know, at practice for baseball or something like that. And then uh, I was getting a sports physical um, for football and for basketball and my uh, pediatrician heard a murmur. What Joe and his family thought would be a simple diagnosis with an easy solution turned out to be much more serious and would change their lives forever. For the first few months just really kind of depressed and upset about you know not being able to play sports anymore just having to stop that immediately. Um, so then I think in either December or January um, 2011, 2012 is when I first got started with the Heart Association and um, a lot of the work that they have done and you know the research and all these things that they've been able to you know help provide me with has really helped me. Joe was diagnosed in August of 2011 and had open heart surgery in July of 2014. The surgery was a huge help, but his condition will still have to be monitored on a regular basis. He's working with the American Heart Association to bring attention to this week being Congenital Heart Defect Awareness Week. Congenital heart defects are the world's most common birth defect. In the U.S., about 40,000 children are born with a CHD each year. Because of advancements made through research, today more infants survive to adulthood. But despite the progress made in understanding and treating CHDs, more research is needed. Dr. Nasser Ramash with Mayo Clinic hasn't treated Joe, but works with people like him at Mayo's Rochester location. Joe has a hereditary condition called hypertrophic myopathy that can run in families and it's caused by a mutation within the heart muscle causing the muscle thickness to increase in certain segment of the heart. That has been associated with exertional shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, at times sudden death. Dr. Amash says it's because of innovation that the number of infants with a CHD making it into adulthood has jumped from 20 to 90 percent in the last 50 years but says we still have so much further to go. And they should know that there are things that could be done about their defects, whether it's simple or complex. And the most important thing that we have been trying to teach everybody is that you need to be seen by somebody who knows about your condition. Joe's advice for people is to pay attention to their bodies. It can come out of nowhere, and it can happen to everyone. So just making sure that you're getting, you know, comprehensive sports physicals from the doctor, you know, I went to my pediatrician and he found my heart problem and, you know, I honestly think that if I had just, you know, gone to a walk-in clinic where they kind of just sign off on them and they aren't really thorough and they don't really know your body as well, um, you know, I think that really helped me. He will likely need another surgery in the future, but in the meantime, has regular checkups with his Mayo Clinic cardiologist and Joe is looking forward to his future. Working in politics and government in D.C. Uh, you know, not necessarily being a politician, but, you know, working on campaigns and working for the government. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live.